Hello everyone, today we're going to continue Unit 8. So we're going to do a review about the model can and can. Let's see if you remember what this about, okay? Let's start. Okay, remember that we have this picture of the bird and we have I can sing, I can dance. I have four examples. Elephants can't fly. Remember, elephants is the subject. I can have a subject as a person, an animal, okay? And then the moral in negative or positive. And the last part is the verb. Elephants can walk. Kangaroos can hang from trees. Kangaroos can jump. Okay, once again, kangaroos is the subject. We have the moral can and then the verb. Okay, remember, subject, moral, and verb. Okay, now I have more examples. We have these children. Remember that the subject is not always an animal. It can be a person. Here we have I. It's me, I, or you, I can run, okay? We start by the subject, the model, and the verb. I can jump. Once again, the subject, the model, and the verb. Other examples, but in negative, I can swim, I can't swim, is in negative, I cannot swim, and I can't fly, okay? It's the same formula. Subject, moral in negative, and the verb. Subject, moral in negative, and the verb. Now, I have a conversation about the animals and the morals and the verbs and everything about it. I have a conversation between two people. Letter A is one person and letter B is the other person. I'm going to be letter A, okay? So, you at home, I want you to read and say aloud letter B. For example, I begin with, hey, look, what's that? And you say, it's a lion, okay? Let's start. Please read the lines. I'm going to start. Hey, look, what's that? Wow, it's amazing! Yes, I like its tail. Can it catch animals? Okay, very good. Now that you're finished, we are going to change places. I'm going to be B, letter B, and you're going to be letter A. So I want you to start at the countdown tree. One, two, three. It's a lion. Yes, it is. It has a beautiful mane and a beautiful color yellow. Yes, it can. It has long claws and sharpened fangs. Very good. So now we can go back to our book and I'm going to explain the exercise that we are going to do today. Okay, the exercise is on page 106 and it's exercise 25. It's super easy and it's similar to the conversation that we did before. Okay, it says the instruction. Number the conversation in order and you have one, two, three, four, five, six, six boxes and you have to Put them in order, writing 
the numbers from 1 to 6, okay? You have, yes, it can. Yes, I like its tail. Can it fly? It's a peacock. Hey, Patrick, what's that? Wow, it's beautiful. Yes, it is. It has a big, colorful tail. Remember that you have to put numbers from 1 to 6 in order on the conversation, okay? Remember that if you have any question about the exercise and the topics, you can tell me and send it to my email or by the platform, okay? Remember to take pictures of the exercise and send them to me and I'll be checking your assignments, okay? If you want to go back to the video and watch the part where we did the conversation because it's similar at the exercise, you can go back and do it, okay? And I'll see you the next time. Have a nice weekend.